kind of working. Mm -hmm. Beyond Omnipotence, Episode 4. What happens if an omnipotent character decides to create omnipotence greater than itself? What I get from that is that an omnipotent decides omnipotence needs to be suppressed, and that's it. I am told the original omnipotent would still be above the ones who surpassed it, as well as below them, or else it would not be omnipotent, which, exp which is explained with one of its paradoxes. That was interesting. So, if an all-powerful, perfectly true omnipotent wanted its omnipotence to be surpassed, and it happened, that makes it that it wasn't omnipotent. Is that where I'm getting? Because that sounds like faulty logic on our part. Why are we using this antiquated logic? Why are we using this reasoning? And this is where I'm getting with this. Our reasoning and logic and understanding when it comes to omnipotence is absolutely asinine and antiquated. If it doesn't make sense, then the, then the omnipotence is faulty. Think about when omnipotence was first established, which from what I could find is from the 1590s or the 14th century. Correct me on that. But, the, but when the word omnipotence was put onto a god, it was usually a faulty God. Don't come at me. We know about the Latin meaning of the word. We know about how the French uses it. We know about how it is used in distinct religions. I mean, Aquinas argued that God is completely omnipotent and in charge of the whole world. He can do everything that is absolutely possible from the 14th century to now. Shaking my head. And people take this so seriously. Yet this term has evolved. You can argue what true omnipotence is or the true meaning is. But the fact of the matter is that if omnipotence is what it was, it never should have evolved. Its meanings never should have been expanded. It should have been an absolute definition, an absolute principle. Yet it's not. You cannot prove that it's not. I mean, you cannot prove that it is. Think about metaphysics and pataphysics. I've seen certain wiki, wikis that try to state that pataphysics is beneath it. But omnipotence is effectively the collection of, collection of metaphysics. And what makes this something odd is that some metaphysical principles are basically either omnipotent or should be something that makes omnipotence what it is. But with current logic, people have a habit of alternating their logic to make omnipotence makes more sense than everything else. When if you really use your head, it doesn't. Our reasoning and logic and understanding when it comes to omnipotence is absolutely asinine and antiquated. It's time to elevate our minds. We are taking a concept and a definition and saying it is beyond concepts and definition and indefinable, yet defining it. But then we are saying it can't do something greater than itself or else it wasn't what we thought it was or it won't be what we thought it was. So can an omnipotent character decide to create meta-omnipotence, a principle greater than itself, and still remain omnipotent? Or is logic unable to evolve itself and thus limit omnipotence? Where are you going? To the art gallery, right? Good. You can find all the things Air to the Star related at www.airtothestars.com. And hopefully, you can surpass the ace of spades while you're at it. Come on.